Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another video. Today we're looking at how to add clouds to any photo using Photoscape X. This photo here where you have a rock formation and then you have a blue sky in the background with some nice clouds. Now what's interesting is that these clouds actually have been added in myself and the original photo is this where it used to have no clouds now it has clouds and the question is how do you do that this question was asked to me by one of my youtube subscribers he commented and said hey i've got a lot of cool photos uh, that i have but it almost looks fake or not real because like there's no clouds in the background it just looks too blank of a color adding some clouds might make it look even better add some depth and some feel to the photo so here's what i did downloaded the two images that he sent me so we have this image and we have this image here and then all that i did was i went on to google and i looked up clouds png and png would just be kind of a way to differentiate hey i want to get uh cloud photos that are already uh, transparent on all the edges where you're just getting the clouds and not just a bunch of randomness then what i did was i went over to transparent and i clicked over here like you can do any color black and white you can pick your color you want or transparent i clicked on transparent so i'm only getting transparent images and then i click over here now you can try to download them straight from this page but the easier way is just to go to the websites that it's linking to which there's different clip art sites that have these available for free download so uh, definitely make sure to respect whatever restrictions there are as far as use cases but this is just for educational purposes just for an example so i downloaded a few of them and i put them all into a folder so i can actually go over here and i can click on these different cloud images and they actually look pretty good uh, they're pretty sharp you know you can zoom in on them and they look pretty decent so what's nice is that when i uh, went back and i said okay how am i going to make this work well, what was really nice was that it actually was pretty easy just to drag and drop. So you're in Photoscape X, you have your editor opened, you drop your image in, and then you can go to uh, insert. So you're, you have like the edit tab, the frame, you go to insert. And then at that point, you're able to either drag and drop uh, your other images in, or you can go to image up here and you can go and select the image that you want. So the clouds that you want. So let's uh, select this one. And then we have the clouds right in here. And what's nice is that you can resize them to whatever size you want. And it's going to be kind of tough because, you know, it's going to look fake to your eyes. But you have to try to see, okay, if nobody knows that this is a doctored image, how could I make this look realistic? So do whatever you need to do. Uh, what I did was I dropped a couple, uh, a couple of them in here. And I just kind of spaced them out. Not like if... It's like, oh, if I were to plan the photo perfectly, this is how the clouds would look. Instead, it was just like, okay, what could I do to make them look, you know, like they're uh, like they're there, but not like super that they stand out. If you want them to be a little bit more transparent, you can go over here to the opacity slider and you can slide them in a direction. That's going to change the overall opacity of it. So that might not be exactly what you're looking for, but it can be helpful. Um, but yeah, you drop your couple uh, cloud images in, and then what you can do is go down here to merge layer. So you have the layers tab, you click right here, merge layers, down to merge all layers, and you can have it where it cuts everything out on the borders. So then you can look at it and say, okay, does that look just right? Does that look good? And you know, you can turn, adjust, move, shift, whatever you want. But really it's saying you gotta start with a good image then you've got to do your searching around online to find the images that are going to help support what you already have and that are what are going to work really well and then you can add them right in so if you do photos like this a ton and you like to add in like clouds you should have a folder on your computer that has like dozens and dozens of uh, transparent images of clouds and you could even look up how to create your own which would be take an image of some clouds and then cutting that image out. Now you can do that in the cutout tool and I've made a video on that 
uh, already, but you guys can definitely check that out at another time. But you guys, I hope this video was helpful for you, how to add clouds to any photo. I'm using Photoscape X, but there are a lot of other softwares that could use this as well. If you have any questions about Photoscape X or photo editing in general, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like and comment on this video and subscribe to see more. All right, see you guys. Bye.